welcome to classes of engineering graphics today we will discuss a very interesting topic projection and section of prism what is prism this is a prism prism is a hedron hedron means all the solid bounded by all surfaces are flat only flat surfaces prism is a hedron having two bases this is one base and this is another base two bases and base is a regular polygon uska shape jo hoga regular hoga both bases are joined by number of rectangular planes which are called faces prism is named upon its face if base is a square then prism is known as square prism if base is a regular pentagon then prism is known as pentagonal prism hexagonal prism it means it has two bases both bases are regular hexagon now these sides are known as base edge or base side all sides are known as base edge or base side this is corner of the base this is corner of the base and this is known as lateral edge or height now today's problem is that a square prism base edge 40 mm given in the question square prism base edge is 40 mm axis 80 mm long it means height axis 80 mm long resting on the ground on its base with one base edge is perpendicular to bp this is kept on the hp like this this side is this side is perpendicular to base edge is perpendicular to bp it is it is a problem of section now we first draw projection of prism without cutting for the projection of any type of solid that view is to be drawn first in which true shape of its base is appeared we got the true shape in top view therefore top view is drawn first i put i fix this side as one base as this perpendicular to bp now we draw square a b c d a1 b1 c1 and d1 lower base named is as a b c d upper base is named as a1 b1 c1 d1 both bases are coincide to each other and this is top view of the axis e dash now we are going to draw front view of e dash b dash draw the projectors from c this is c dash and d d dash this is lower base this is the front view of lower base both bases are parallel upper base upper base ka front view kahan milega 80 mm above A one dash, B one dash, 
पैरेलल में C1 डैश B1 डैश एंड दिस इज द O डैश O डैश एक्सिस एज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज कट बाय ए सेक्शन पिन परपेंडिकुलर टू बी पी एंड इंक्लाइंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू एच पी इट इज ए कट बाय एन इमेजनरी सेक्शन पिन इट इज कट बाय एन इमेजनरी सेक्शन पिन परपेंडिकुलर टू बी पी नाइंटी डिग्री एंड इंक्लाइंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू एच पी This may be also cut by this type of plane, perpendicular to BP and inclined 45 degree to HP. Now I am going to cut the given prism by section plane. And by setting the axis inclined 45 degree to HP and by setting the axis in. Mark the middle point of the axis. Section plane appear as a line in the front view. Now we draw a line inclined forty-five degree to HP. Right here, forty-five degree to HP. Now. After removing the, after removing the upper part, I am going to remove the upper part. Draw lower part by thick line. We are going to remove the upper part. Upper part is removed. Please see here. Upper part is removed. Front view. This is answer number one. Front view is A. Now see here, section A cuts all the four edges, lateral edges, at point one, two, three, and four. Mark the front view of one, one dash. Two dash, three dash, four dash. Top view of point one for A dash lies on line A dash A one dash. Therefore, top view of point one is on here. Two dash. Point two lies on line B dash B one dash. Top view of point B two is on here. This is point two. Point three, top view of point three will be from here, and top view of point four will be from here. Join one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to one. This is the sectional top view, as per the conventions. Show the sections by etching lines. Section lines. This is the sectional top view. This is answer number two. Sectional top view. Now, true shape of the section. This is the section face part. True shape of the section. To find the true shape of the section, we put an auxiliary plane. 
parallel to the plane of cutting section, cutting part. We put parallel plane, auxiliary plane, and project the cutting section to the auxiliary plane. For this, we find draw a parallel line, ground line, new ground line to section plane. This is the new ground line drawn parallel to the section plane. Draw projectors. From one dash, draw the projectors from one dash to new ground line. This is the previous of point one dash. This is the previous ground line. This is the previous ground line. Take the distance from previous view to previous ground line and shift it to new ground line projector drawn from one dash. This is point one, one. Draw the projectors from point two dash to new ground line. Previous view of point two, this is previous view of point two. Take the distance from previous view to previous ground line and shift it from new ground line to projector drawn from two dash. This is point two one. Similarly, we draw the projectors from point three dash. Projector means line perpendicular to x. This is the previous view of point three. Measure it. Previous ground line. This is divider and shift it from this to three one. Now draw the projectors from four dash. Previous view of four dash is this point four. Measure the distance from point four to previous ground line and shift it four. One. Now join one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to one. Erase the part inside of the section. Now join the section lines. Draw the section lines like this. This is the true shape. This is the true shape of the section. Right? You may write here as true shape of section. This is the front. This is the sectional top. <coughs> Now we start the revision. A square prism. Base edge of 40 mm, excess 80 mm long, is resting on the ground on its base with one base edge is perpendicular to VP. So first step to draw the projection of uncut solid, uncut prism. Draw the top view first. First step. Draw the top view first. Keeping this side in first because. 
This edge is perpendicular to ET. Draw the top view and draw the front view of prism. Now, as written in the question, it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 45 degree to HP and bisecting the axis. So, draw, mark the midpoint of the axis and draw a light line, draw this line inclined 45 degree. By thick line, join this line is thick line. One dash, two dash, mark here because this is the front view of two lines. Three dash and four dash will be point of intersection of cutting plane and lateral edge. Now obtain the top view of one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash. One, two, three, and four. Now take the mini drafter and set it here and draw a new ground line parallel to X line. Use another scale of the mini drafter. Draw projectors from one dash. This is my divider. Take the distance from one to previous view and shift it now previous a new ground line to projector drawn from one dash. Similarly, point two dash two one three one and four one is obtained as find as method to obtain one. Join one one two two three three and four four by thick lines. This is the true shape of it. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, this part should be joined by thick lines. This is the front view after removing the upper part. This is the sectional top view and this is the true shape of the plane, cutting plane. <coughs> As is written in the question, it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to B. Perpendicular to VP inclined 45 degree to HP. This type of VP. It is cut by cut the prism. This type of VP. Perpendicular to VP and inclined 45 degree. This part, this angle is 45. Okay. Okay. <coughs> if you have any doubt in this question, please ask me in my comment box. We will surely answer to you. Thank you.